necessity, like necessity being the mother of invention, or is that um, something that you, I mean, did you have a lemonade stand as a kid, or what, you know? Oh, a lemonade stand? Yeah, I did, actually. You did? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? Yeah, you know what? I, I, was, I have magic powers. I Yeah, I, I was always into doing that, like the lemonade stand, mm-hmm. and, um, and then I remember I had this really big closet growing up, and I set up a little library in there, and I'd have my friends come over, and then, you know, and rent, not for any money, but I just had, I just loved that idea, and, and then we used to, of course, like a lot of kids did mm-hmm. this, but we'd put on plays, and then we'd invite everyone and make them pay, like, nothing, but we just wanted them to pay, like, 50 cents or something mm-hmm. <laughs> to, mm-hmm. to watch us do a play. Awesome. You know? And, so, yeah, uh, I always kind of... I never really thought of that, but yeah, I was always like that. Even so you're kind of kind of a self starter, kind of self motivated and stuff. Yeah. To to get get up and get things. That's probably yeah. one reason why you're. Yeah. I mean, after after uh, Showgirls being kind of a disappointment for you, even though it was a, a nice movie and the uh, the critics kind of tore it up, you're still around. You're still working, and you still have a positive attitude because you're able to kind of pick yourself up and do things on your own. Yeah. And um. You weren't exposed to a lot of the, the bad things in Hollywood at an early age because your parents moved you out of uh, South Bay, L.A., which uh, is where I'm, I was born, by the way. Mm-hmm. And uh, But you were born in Marina Del Rey, and uh, your parents moved Playa you Del to Playa Del Rey. Thank you. And yeah, uh, you the went same hospital as Tyra Banks. Oh, really? All right. <laughs> yeah, I heard I. Yeah. Uh, Ki- um, cool. Harbor City uh, Kaiser is, was mine. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah. Sentinella. All right. Torrance Not even there anymore. Oh, really? in Inglewood. Okay. Right by and then, then your dad, who was a, a member of the uh, LAPD, mm-hmm. moved you guys up to Pismo Beach because things just started to get kind of st- sketchy. You were saying they were finding dead bodies in dumpsters um, around uh, where you were living at the time. And, yeah. And uh, you said your, your, your babysitter when you were a little kid was Buffy? Yeah, Buffy from Buffy and Jody. And she and did. Lisa she Jones. And, and she OD'd at 18 and stuff, so it's kind of yeah. indicative of the whole environment, huh? Yeah, so... I I was discovered by this um, baby agent when, you know, living in Clay Del Rey. An agent for babies. Yeah. For <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, baby. Baby. <laughs> I got a deal for you. I got a show yeah, coming up here. <laughs> it wasn't a baby agent, but yeah. And um, for like commercials and print and all that kind of stuff. And then our next door neighbors at the time, they it was the makeup artist, and he was old and he was retired, but... Um, for the Wizard of Oz, mm-hmm. and he did the witch. That was his makeup creation. Mm-hmm. And so he told my mom, he's like, well, you know, you can get Rena into this business, but it's really difficult, and she's going to be, like, driving me around to all these auditions, and he really discouraged my mom. And then my dad, he, I don't think he was into me being in the business as a baby, you know, a child, mm-hmm. like, actor. That's pretty young to be exposed to all that stuff. Yeah, yeah so. and, and that's, you know, like um, Mila Jovovich, she, she started as a, a baby model. You know, she was probably one year old or something. But um, And a lot of, of the actors really started when they were kids. But um, I wish that I could have stayed here in Hollywood and started off my career when I was two. Because <laughs> maybe, you know... Who knows what would have happened, but at the same time, this business, like Drew Barrymore, you know, she was a child actor, and then she went through a hard time, and now she's so successful, but the longer you're in this business, the more years you're in it, the more you're going to totally have to go up and down, because it's the nature of it, and you just, you cannot just keep going like this for 20 years, you know, Hmm. it just isn't. It just doesn't work like that. You're always going to have a, you yeah, know... Be kind of prepared for the disappointments and roll with the punches and, yeah. and be, be able to come back. Yeah, it's just the way it is, and you have to accept it. I'm going to change batteries here in a minute, but I want to talk a little bit about what your dad uh, did for uh, a living with the LAPD. You said he was a police detective. He was a, at first a beat cop, and you said that people used to send him thank you letters for yeah, writing... Yeah, he was so nice. He wasn't... I know, like, the LAPD, there, there are some cops that are not very nice and you know they've done bad things but a lot but of them your dad would get thank you letters yeah my <laughs> dad was super nice for yeah. a traffic ticket yeah they would send them into the department you know we want to thank um the police officer 
Officer Rissell because uh-huh. he was so nice when he gave me my my ticket and we appreciate him so much and he was just super made a clear impression. Then then later yeah, on, super nice. Then later on, he was a detective and he used to interview criminals to see if they were crazy. psychotic or crazy. Yeah, yeah. So he, then he was How? put in the office and he'd interview them. How long did he do that? Was that was that something that um, you knew about or you were aware of or you ever talked to you about? Um, yeah, he has talked to me about it, but he did that while he put himself through chiropractic school. Okay. So he was working very hard and he would he would work you know these long shifts and then he would go to school. And he was getting hardly any sleep, and then they had me, you know. But he was he was doing that for a long time. Like, I think maybe like at eight years or six years. I don't, I don't really know. But While you were growing up like in your that. teens or something? Huh? While you were growing up and you were in your teens? No, 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 as a baby. Oh, okay. He was already a police officer before he met my mom. Ah. And then he met my mom, and then, you know, they dated and got married, and then... <laughs> But that that um, that kind of personality, wherever you know what it would take to kind of head shrink somebody and figure them out. Have you do you do you think maybe you learned a little bit of that? Were you did you ever uh, did the, has that ever helped you maybe in figuring out a role or something or being an actress? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I've never really put that together, but um, oh well, sorry to surprise yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> didn't mean to dump that on it. Yeah, no, that that's good because yeah, I am very intuitive and I use that with my acting and creating roles and my writing too because I'm writing scripts and um yeah let's talk about what you're working on now you're working on um well I'm (laughs) (laughs) I'm working on um well a few different scripts I I wrote one script called Butterfly Lane okay and um it's a horror movie Uh uh-huh and then I like that genre don't you yeah I do actually I don't know I just yeah I like it it's fun. I like that. I mean, it's fun making a horror movie. It's fun using the, like, fake blood, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? But, um, and then another script I've been working on for a really long time is is a Showgirls-inspired um, sequel. Good. And, um... And you've got yeah. new talent for that. You've got a director possibly uh, in place, and... Um, well, yeah, I'm going to venture into all that part of it. Right now I'm just I'm so stuck in the creative the creativity of the script. Okay. Right now, the story. So it's in the de- 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 developmental phase right now. Yeah. And uh okay. Yeah. Got it, got it. But um yeah, it's not formally announced yet. So it's just something I'm I'm working on. That's a nice but tattoo. Is that a tattoo or is that pen? Yeah, it's it's Very fading. Faint. Yeah, I I'm getting laser. Oh, you're getting on removed. It, okay. Removed. When did yeah. you have that put on? Was that after Showgirl? Yes, it was after Mulholland Drive. After Mulholland Drive. Yeah, and I got this one too, oh. which I'm getting them both lasered off. Could could I get could I get like a, a shot of that in the light? The corner of the light. That armband looks cool. Oh, thanks. Well, too bad. Do you want to get a remote? Too bad it's huh? gonna be gone. Yeah, I know. How's it? How's Hopefully. it getting? It looks so faint. That boy, they really do a good job with the, uh, with with laser work, huh? So that's like. Yeah, you There's should like see no it scarring though, after. Or anything. Oh, really? No, yeah. Well, one time it it scarred really bad. It took out my pigment, actually. Oh wow. They, I don't know. I was, oh. I was taking all these vitamins, and I think maybe that made me. Turn a little bit. Can I see that? Sensitive. Okay, so it's like it was it was a, uh, uh, a crescent moon, a star, a crescent uh, uh, pentagram. And, yeah, uh, this was my gothic phase. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so you just went for it. And then now on yeah. this, this is uh, some sort of Hindu script, or what is it? No, it's just it's a crescent moon with a snake. Okay. And this one's right. harder to take off, though. A lot more color. Yeah, I don't know how these people are getting them off, but um, yeah, my, this has been going on for two years. Can we get a couple so. of still photos, please? 